Everybody, welcome back to the Golden Goblet uh, Golf Club 2019. Today we are doing the second course, TPC Boston. We're doing the front nine. Just to make sure I got it, front nine, please. Um, with the same rules. And dude, I'm having a great time being back here. Continuing around will restore the course condition. Let's create a match. <laughs> I'm having a great time playing the golf club. The these Golden Goblet games compared to Warzone. Warzone was like, da dunk, da dunk, da dunk. Everybody, welcome John back, please. Hello, John. Let's get a little preview here. TPC Boston. Finer courses on the continent. Let's see what we can do now. On the continent. And as a Canadian, you know he means it. 281, this is a short par 4. Um, these games are easy, breezy, and beautiful compared to, uh, compared to Warzone. Now, here's the thing. I got a little bit of a natural slice in me. So, let's aim slightly to the right. And hopefully, this will counteract and, and we'll move a little bit to the left. And it'll nice. be a dream come true. Seems like we got a little curve in it, but isn't that good? I thought that was advisable. All right, immediately we have ended up in the sand trap. I'll tell you what, everybody ends up here sometimes. He's absolutely, uh, that's, that's this, the way to think about uh, it. As a learning opportunity. Let's treat it as, I agree. Let's treat it as a learning opportunity, shall we? Um, so this time, I think you just put me right here. We got a 95. And in a position to get a birdie. But this game, putting, putting wins you the game. When you enter the mini golf portion, that's where it gets real. Oh my god! It was like shooting into a black hole, dude. No, no, no. Do not, do not shoot this one. You gotta at least... There you go. Respect it. Respect it. Considering we ended up in the sand trap on, on shot one, we'll take that, right, Ruka? We'll take a, we'll take a, a par on that one. A par. All right. It's a par five. I am honestly not at all tempted to not drive on this one. But there might be a good reason for it. I don't know what the heck it is, though. Let's just try to level out our stroke. There you go. It's perfect. I mean, it had a little squiggly down at the bottom, but all things considered, that's okay. This game is a much higher skill floor than, like, your classic, like, three-button press golf game. All right, now this is this is where things get funky for sure. Um, a normal shot is not bad, but this is a it's a little spooky for sure. I think you can you can hit this one as is. Wind should counteract my natural slice. And we're gonna find ourselves with a chippable position. This is a par five, right? Oh, dude. There's a there's a real chance for this one. If only if I could get my chip power a little bit more where I want it to be. Go. This one for birdie. This one's for birdie. You heard the man. Don't disappoint John. Oh come oh. on. Dude. <laughs> the putting is so tough. And that's why you love it, because it, it means that much more when you're able to get a... When you sink a satisfying putt in the golf club, there ain't no feeling like it. There ain't no feeling like it. See if you can stick this bad boy close. Ooh, John. <laughs> you rascal. Stick this bad boy close. Honestly, with this much wind, this could do it for us. A little, little slice coming in there due to the fast uh, four swing. We still overshot it a little, but nice, nice approach. Thank All you, right, 12 thank you. Here. I thought that was pretty solid. A twelve footer. Oh, right by the hole. Oh, the and putting. This next putt for par. It just it's enough to dispirit you. Now and that's a shot. We're, we're back on par. But we've had so many opportunities to do a little bit better. Yo, a 234-foot. 
par four. This is like albatross territory. All you got to do is have a good, clean stroke. And that was, that was as clean as it gets. You might end up in the sand trap. But it's still going to leave you... We're just going to be in the rough. That's still going to leave you with a great chance to get on with a good lie for a birdie. So, you know. I, but my competitors are going to be in the exact same position here. I, I assure you of that. So, no, no reason to get overly confident. Just a straight shot here. If it hadn't bounced weirdly when it hit the green, that one was looking like it could have gone in. All right, here so we, go. we get another birdie putt. Dude, I, I don't know what to say. There, there's a theme in this episode. My long game is okay. My short game is... Like unfathomably terrible. What what the heck am I doing, dude? Come on. Okay. Two sixty three yard par four. Dude, this is a nice course. It's you could get some seriously good scores here. Um, and honestly, I think I think this is our shot right here. What the heck was that? Say hello to the sand trap. Um, not a good stroke. We got to focus a little bit more on our stroke. <laughs> and with the wind, I think we even want to go a little bit further. Because we're only going to hit 66%-ish. Correct club selection. Oh my god, what are we on? Like a freaking luge track? We got Amazing. We got to get some birdies here, dude. We got to get some birdies here. What the heck? So let's follow it through. We're moving a little bit to the left. Moving a little bit to the right. There's more right than left. So we want to be maybe like here. And then there's quite a lot of down. At least we, we got over the hump. Next pot for par. Quite a lot of up, I should, I should say, I guess. No! No, John! All right, nice little two-foot putt. John, I need a caddy. Oh, it's all it's all falling apart. One over for the round. It's all right, one over. We'll survive this as we move into hole six. Oh, my God, this is going to be a fast video. It's a 376-yard hole six. With the wind, I think we just focus on a good stroke here, and we should be in a good place. Still a little fast. That's water. That's uh, water risk. The cabbage on this one. Ah, thanks, John. I appreciate it. I thought I was headed for the water, but according to John, we're just heading for the cabbage. So we got nothing to worry about. Okay. 77 to 84% of 116 yards carry. So we'd actually prefer to be... Because it's only 111 yards to the pin. Actually, this, this feels about right to me. That didn't feel fast, but you know what? I think this is heading for the rough. We can agree to disagree. It's a par four. <laughs> can I can I flop this one? Oh, it's way too close for a flop with anything. All right, so we're chipping. All you need is a chip and a chair, boys. Had to go back a little bit more on that one. Okay, don't don't lose focus here. You want to. Like, pretty much bang on is good, but you're lying to the left, so you actually want to hit it, like, over here, I think. And then, um, yeah, because we're, we're lying off to the left, so even, like, shooting it over here is probably fine. And then we don't want to hit it 100%. It's a good putt for bogey. It's disappointing that we found ourselves in this position. Nice putt. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. But all, all we can focus on. We got three holes. I'd love to get two birdies or minus two at some point because it could be, you never know, we could get an albatross. <laughs> Maybe wishful thinking. I think we want to be around here. I did worry 
That was a great shot. This one looks pretty safe. I did worry that with the carry of our uh, higher level okay, club, about, uh, might have put us in the sand. It probably the would not have, but at least now we know. This one is possibly going to overshoot. The slice. This could be dirty. <laughs> the slice. Well, you're in the sand, so uh, let's just uh, let's just get out of there and, and move on with our lives. Oh yeah, I couldn't agree more, John. Couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't have agreed more. This is for this is for eagle, right? No, this is for birdie. Right, here we go. This one for the birdie. Pretty gentle curve here. Yeah. My thoughts exactly, Jonathan. My thoughts there, exactly. Oh my Solid lord. Par. Well done. Solid par. Okay. Well, that was that was a big moment for us. We could have pulled it back. The the par we're losing like a stroke per hole because of our putting, which is pretty nasty. Now what is this? Is this a sand wedge? And a gap wedge. I think if you play a gap wedge with a higher loft and get like a perfect stroke, you could fall in love with this. Just be cool. Oh, look at that was there and back again, a hobbit's tail. We did we overlofted, unfortunately. It would have been better if we hadn't adjusted, probably. So have fun with this. 30, 30 feet from the hole. But honestly, the the Movement doesn't seem that bad. Please. I need a dub. Daddy needs a dub! Come on! Jeez. I just want... Here we go. This next one for par. I just want one good putt. I'm and begging you. I'm begging you for a single good putt. And that'll keep you at two over. Two over. Right. It's not that bad. We haven't had any complete disasters. But, like, this course is easy enough that it's almost a complete disaster just to not be crushing it, I think. Um, with our natural slice, you gotta swing for the fences on this one. This could be in the rough. Uh, yeah, I think you might have hit a tree there. Thanks, John. Uh. Uh. You know... I believe. Hit, hit some foliage. Well, you're um, you're still in it, but you are hitting from a pretty gross lie, so don't let it get you down. Dude, he's so he's so nice. Pitch uses an abbreviated backswing to keep trajectories lower. It sacrifices distance. You know? But then the wind won't affect us as much. We could do something like this. Ah, from rough to some more rough. That is unfortunate. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. By the way, there's a lot, there's a very raucous game of uh, clubhouse games going on in the background here. Uh, 35 feet away from me and up a flight of stairs, you may be hearing. <laughs> um. Hold on. I, we can't flop it. We gotta do... I mean, I feel like we gotta do a pitch at like 50% power. That was just about the first good idea that's actually worked out. So this is for bogey, which is a pretty bad place to be. Come on, dude! <laughs> I'm like millimeters away. This, seven -footer. this is for double bogey. Unlucky. <laughs> okay, this one for triple. Nice putt. We're in there. Thanks, John. That's going to be a plus five performance. Right, Pretty bad, but you know what? 
we're working on it, all right? We're working on it. Um, that's uh, not not my finest performance. We'll be back with day three tomorrow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do click the like button. We're going to find our stroke. I promise you that. And who knows? Maybe the other guys are doing just as bad so it doesn't look so bad. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do click the like button if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow for another easy, breezy, beautiful golf video. See ya!